now we will discuss the classification of cnc machine so basically the cnc machine is classified on the basis of four criteria the number one criteria based on the control loop that is open loop and closed loop system the second criteria based on the motion type point to point and contouring system the third criteria based on the number of axes 2 3 4 and 5 axis cnc machine and fourth criteria based on the power supply electric hydraulic and pneumatic system so now we will discuss one by one criteria in detail so the first criteria is based on the control loop open loop and closed loop system so now we will discuss open loop system so here you can see the block diagram of an open loop system so here you can see one system and that system is provided with certain input and you are getting output at at another side okay so in open loop system you don't have a control over your output that means you don't have any feedback signal that is sensing the output of your system okay so open loop system have no access to the real time data about the performance of the system and therefore no immediate corrective action can be taken in case of the system disturbance so the open loop system do not have any control over the system and the performance of the system and therefore no immediate corrective action is taken because feedback is not there so this is the system that you find in your nc machine with open loop system so here in this diagram you can see a stepper motor that is attached to the lead screw arrangement the lead screw is attached to your work table and you can store your work part over the work table okay so now the stepper motor will be given with the help of uh, will be given certain pulse with that the stepper motor will rotate as the stepper motor rotate your lead screw will rotate and the rotary motion of the lead screw will be converted into the horizontal motion of the work table here you don't have any mechanism or you don't have any device that is sensing the rotation of lead screw because on the rotation of lead screw the horizontal motion of work table is depend now this is closed loop system here you can see the block diagram of closed loop system here you can find one system you are giving the input at one end and you are getting output at another end and that output is sensed by the feedback and that feedback mechanism is giving feedback to your input device okay so in a closed loop system feedback devices closely monitor the output and any disturbance will be corrected in the first instance therefore high system accuracy is achievable so here you can see a feedback mechanism is there and that feedback mechanism is giving feedback to your input by sensing the output so this is the arrangement of closed loop system so this is a similar to your open loop system only the difference is here you are getting a feedback signal so again there is a stepper motor lead screw is there to that lead screw table is attached and over that table work piece is there okay the additional arrangement is feedback here you can see an optical encoder which is sensing the rotary motion of the lead screw and that rotary motion of the lead screw is a sense by your optical encoder and it is giving signal to your comparator the comparator is comparing the value of input with the output the signal is going to dac that is nothing but data acquisition control and again you are sending the signal to your servo motor suppose along x axis i want to move 10 mm and for that i am giving voltage to my servo motor in form of pulse okay so due to that the servo motor will rotate and lead screw will rotate and suppose due to backlash or due to the friction the slide moves by 9.9 .9 mm so the desired moment is 10 mm and slide is moving by 9.9 .9 mm that means there is a gap of 0.1 mm due to friction or backlash so that is to be corrected and that can be corrected with the help of your optical encoder that optical encoder will sense the position of your lead screw and then it will give signal to your comparator and comparator will compare the value of input with output and again it will give signal to the servo motor and again your 
lead screw will rotate by certain angle and that rotation will be converted into the linear movement and you will get your desired distance that is 10 mm and this happens real time and this is an advantage of your closed loop system now the second criteria based on the motion type that is point to point and contouring okay so first we will discuss point to point control so point to point control system moves to a location and performs an operation at the location uh, the example is drilling it is also applicable in robotics also so here in this diagram you can see a plate and on that plate you want to drill three different holes at three different location so you are interested in those locations only and you are not interested in the path followed by the cutting tool so in such situation you will go with point to point control where you are interested in the location of the holes and you are not interested in the path followed by the cutting tool for drilling that hole so it is mostly applicable in robotics also because industrial robots they are basically used for pick and place operation where you are interested in uh, the destination and the picking point you are not interested in the path followed by that robot also uh, palletizing in that also you are not interested in the path whereas you are interested in the destination itself then the continuous path control it is also called as contouring system in machining uh, system performs an operation during the movement example is milling and turning in point to point control the example was drilling whereas in continuous control the example is milling and turning so here in this diagram you can see the workpiece with a complex shape and the cutting tool is moving along along the surface of the job that means you are interested in the path followed by the cutting tool and in such situation you will go with continuous path control then the third criteria is based on the number of axes 2 3 4 and 5 axis cnc machine so first we will discuss 2 and 3 axis cnc machine so in cnc lathe will will be coming under 2 axis machine there will be 2 axis along which the motion takes place the saddle will be moving longitudinally on the bed that is z axis and the cross slide moves transversely on the saddle along x axis that means your lathe machine has two axes only x axis that is nothing but along the diameter of the job and z axis that is along the length of the job and for machining the cylindrical object you have to control only two axis that is along x axis and along z axis in three axis machine there will be one more axis perpendicular to above two axis so if you are working on say cnc milling machine that cnc milling machine has three axis x and y axis that is along the table and z axis that is perpendicular to the table so by the simultaneous control of all three axis complex surface can be machined now we will discuss four and five axis cnc machine so as we have discussed cnc milling machine example so commonly it has three axis only x and y axis that is on the table and z axis perpendicular to table but again you can increase two more axis if you are able to rotate your spindle then you will be getting one more motion and again if you are able to rotate your table <coughs> then again you will be getting another motion that means that machine will have five different axis so four and five axis cnc machine provides multi-axis machining capabilities beyond the standard three axis tool path movement a 5 axis milling center include the 3 xyz axis the a axis which is rotary tilting of the spindle and the b axis which can rotate your table then the next criteria is based on the power supply electric hydraulic and pneumatic so your cnc machine can work on either electric drive hydraulic drive pneumatic drive or it may work on hybrid hybrid system so basically we are converting hydraulic pneumatic or hydraulic pneumatic or electric energy into a mechanical power units okay so suppose if you are using electric drive that means you are working with the electric motors so the cnc machine has either uh, it may have 
आइदर डी सी सर्वो मोटर ए सी सर्वो मोटर और अ स्टेपर मोटर फॉर कंट्रोलिंग द एक्सिस दैट इज एक्स वाई जेड एक्सिस एंड अगेन फॉर रोटेटिंग द स्पिंडल देन इट मे हैव हाइड्रोलिक ड्राइव ऑल्सो दैट इज इन फॉर्म ऑफ हाइड्रोलिक मोटर और रैम्स यू कैन कंट्रोल द चक ऑफ यूर सी एन सी लेथ मशीन विद द हेल्प ऑफ हाइड्रोलिक ड्राइव देन इट मे हैव हाइड्रोलिक सिस्टम्स ऑल्सो सो न्यूमेटिक सिस्टम्स ऑल्सो सो न्यूमेटिक मोटर्स और न्यूमेटिक रैम्स विल बी देयर यू कैन कंट्रोल द वॉइस ऑफ मिलिंग मशीन विद द हेल्प ऑफ न्यूमेटिक पावर और द सी एन सी मशीन कैन बी कंट्रोल्ड विद द हाइब्रिड सिस्टम विच मे बी अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ हाइड्रोलिक न्यूमेटिक सो इट विल हैव हाइड्रोलिक रैम्स बैक बाय न्यूमेटिक प्रेशर्स ओके सो दीज आर द फोर बेसिक क्राइटेरिया ऑन विच यू कैन क्लासीफाई सी एन सी मशीन